What's up, Lockdown Legion? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. I am Chris, and as always, welcome back to the show. Uh, today, I want to hit on a uh, subject. I uh, kind of want to go over the new generation of consoles a couple weeks later. And uh, as you guys uh, may have uh, seen from my past videos, I unboxed a Series X and a PS5 on my channel. And um, I kind of wanted to give you my honest opinions on... Um, which console, I guess, would be the better one um, since we're a couple weeks in, about two and a half weeks now. Uh, before we get started, I want to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tap that like button and uh, go ahead and uh, um, leave a comment below. Uh, what 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 system do you guys think uh, is better if you were lucky enough to get one um, at this point? <clears throat> Anyways, um Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, now, we have to take in consideration a couple of factors here. One, one major one would be release of games. Um, now, Sony beats, uh, you know, Xbox on this uh, this this time around um, because, I mean, Xbox just really didn't have anything uh, for Xbox <clears throat> right at release date. Um, in fact, nothing. Um, now, a couple of days later, you did have uh, Call of Duty, which wasn't a uh, Xbox exclusive, you know, so we still haven't seen an Xbox exclusive except for, um, I think the Falconeer came out and um, really nothing else. So, I mean, in that regard, Sony beats Xbox there. Um, uh, quality of the console. Um, now... I have both here. Um, I will say that this one is a beast. It's heavy. And in fact, I feel like it's a little bit heavier than the PS5, even though the PS5 is a little bigger. Um, just because this is more compact, I believe. Um, I, I mean, listen. Clean lines. It's all black. It's matte. It's hard to put fingerprints on. I, I love that, you know. Um it's it's really pretty. I wish they would have came out with a couple different variations of colors, maybe special edition, something like that. Um, but um, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 <laughs> it's like a mini fridge ashtray, really. I mean, it it's nice. It's nice. Now, on the other hand, you have form factor and you know the heaviness of the PS5. This is not as heavy as that. Um, I could tell right away, right when I pick it up. Um, I do love the design of this. I think this feels much more next gen design wise. I feel like Sony didn't play it safe and they said, you know, let's just, let's just do it. You know what I mean? Let's make them, uh, you know, let's make them look weird. Let's make them look like a spaceship. Whatever you want to call it, whatever you guys want to call it, Wi-Fi router, you know, <laughs> what, what everybody was calling it before. Um, and the other thing that we have to think about too is, um, is uh, I mean, controllers. I think this this is a big thing here. Um, everybody's talking about this DualSense controller versus the Xbox One, or sorry, the Xbox Series X. Might as well be an Xbox One controller. Let's start with that one. Um, you know, the only thing they really changed was the D-pad, some extra texture to the. Uh, to the triggers but other than that and a share button of course but other than that i mean to tell you the truth this wasn't far far off from the last xbox one we got a uh, controller and i i don't think it's very next gen at this point um still having to take batteries um you know i i mean it does support c type c cable for charging so that's cool at least they you know updated it there um, I do like the D-pad on here. I will say that the D-pad wins, in my opinion, on the Xbox over the PlayStation, just because I like the I like I like fighting games and I like the D-pad being like this. Um, now I do I do my kid uses this one. I I don't use I use an Elite controller that is capable with the Xbox Series X still. So um i prefer the elite control over this but um i mean it's nice it feels good it's an xbox xbox will always feel good but i will say the star of the show on all the controllers that came out 
you know, in this new generation out of the two is definitely this thing. Now I'm not one for uh, the, the sticks being the same. What is that? You know, asymmetrical. Um, I, they usually hurt. They hurt my hand. I get, I get cramps. Um, and that's why I, you know, with my PlayStation four, I got a, uh, Nacon, which had the, uh, symmetrical or, or asymmetrical, however you want to call it. Um, the sticks where the D pad is, that's where the stick, you know, they, th these two are switched just like the Xbox controller. I really liked that controller, but I can't play my PS five games on that controller. And when I put my hands on this controller, I can honestly tell you that this is so much more comfortable than the PlayStation 4 controller in every way possible. Um, now, the D-pad, like I said, it's okay. It's not as good as the Xbox D-pad. However, however, the triggers on this, the adaptive triggers and the HD rumble or whatever they want to call it, basically, if you if you played with the Pro Controller, and you feel the rumble in a pro controller on a switch. It's the same thing as this, um, with the exception of this has adaptive triggers. So say we're playing Call of Duty, and uh, you go to fire a weapon, um, you can actually feel yourself pulling in the trigger. Um, it's harder to pull in, you know, things like that. It's it feels more lifelike. Um, I still don't think there's a need for the touchpad. I think they could have got got rid of that and you know did something else with that. But hey. You know, PlayStation's trying. Um, the buttons I really like. I like the the uh, glass, or not glass, but, you know, the see-through sort of. So, and it's bigger. It's bigger than the PlayStation 4, and it feels better in your hand. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt. Um, so, I really do, I, I have to give Sony the edge, once again, on the controller. Um, I think the next thing we got to talk about is... Uh, is really speed um they're supposed to boast uh both boast you know ssds which makes it way faster to load load times are, are are definitely cut down as you guys have seen um but i will say when playing the consoles myself there's two different things one when i turn on the xbox i'm automatically at the home uh, menu and I have nothing PlayStation there's still a little bit of a you know a load time it's not very much it's it's a couple seconds but it's there it's not as fast as the Xbox when it comes to that but I will say loading games in the the, the PlayStation 5 is faster when it comes to the actual loading of a game um, and the actual downloading of a game too still PlayStation has that uh, Xbox it takes forever even disc you put a disc in and it takes forever for that game to download on Xbox. For some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why they haven't been able to fix that. It's, it's, it drives me nuts. Um, however, um, I will even say like I have uh, a couple of uh, external hard drives for each one for other games that are not optim, you know, that are not optimized for those systems um, that I put all those games on. And, um, they do they do load a lot faster than the uh, than the previous generation. I mean, it does even the PS4 Pro. Uh, it doesn't load as fast as this when it comes to things on the hard drive. Um, but I mean, overall speed of the system. If I had to, if I had to had to go by smoothness, speed of the interface, speed of games loading. All around, PlayStation wins once again. Um, th their interface, the the new home screen, whatever you guys want to call it, I I like it a lot better than I do the Xbox. It's cleaner. It feels easier to maneuver. Um, it's really fast, uh, and uh, it's just it's nice. It's a nice, fresh. Once again, and and I will probably keep bringing this up feels more next gen. It feels like they took a risk. They did something different. Whereas an Xbox, that home screen is the same exact one as the one you had on your Xbox one. Um, it didn't change. I don't understand that. I feel like they needed to kind of jump into that next gen. Um, but you know, I mean, Microsoft wanted to make something familiar for everybody, I guess. Um, and then I think the last thing we're going to talk about guys is, is actual graphical performance. Um, 
And, you know, that's a big thing I think for everybody is graphical performance. Now I will say that um, if you're looking for just a massive, like graphical jump from PS4 pro or Xbox one X to series X and PS5, you're not going to, you're not going to be astonished. You're not going to be like, Oh my God. Um, what you're looking at mostly is uh, let's take Watch Dogs for instance. Um, on the PS5, uh, I've been playing Watch Dogs Legion, and I can honestly say that I could probably get the same graphic fidelity on the PS on my PS4 Pro as I could on Watch Dogs Legion um, when it comes to character models and cars and things like that. But what I can't get is that ray tracing and uh, light sourcing uh, from the game. Um, that's what really makes the difference in the fidelity in it and uh, the smoothness of uh, how are things running. Um, it does run a lot smoother. Um, with the uh, with the ray tracing, it's really cool because you can see the reflections in the building on the cars or the water on the ground. Um, little fine details that you wouldn't be able to see in the other, um, the, the previous generation systems. But like I said, if you're looking, f- if you think everything's going to be 100% lifelike, uh, it's it's not it's 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 still you know we're still we're, it's not like a massive jump but the little things are there the speed ray tracing fidelity um, everything looks smoother and cleaner and runs smoother and cleaner so I think that's where you're going to see the massive jump um, uh, and for a person like me that that, that likes the speed I, I want I want it to be faster and I want it to run smoother and i feel like that's the major you know upside to uh that so we'll have to see what uh comes along but you know two and a half weeks in right now my honest opinion playstation has the edge right now and this is coming from an xbox person personally that i've 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 always played more xbox than i have playstation and right now i feel like the edge and the innovativeness of if that's a word, uh, of PlayStation has won me over. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments um, what you think about this generation and uh, uh, what you're excited about. What games are you guys excited about coming out? I want to do some reviews on some games, guys. So stick around on the channel. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, see you guys later. Have a good, uh, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and uh, going to have a good holiday. See ya. Peace.